What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. Uh, today is Monday, August 21st, and that means it is Solar Eclipse Day. Uh, here in South Carolina and Columbia, we are following right along the path of totality, which means we are going to get 100% coverage of the sun by the moon. Uh, so it's been a big deal around here, and as I noted the other day in a blog post, several breweries in this area are doing things to uh, making special beers to commemorate the occasion. And so I'm very glad to be able to try out this one from Benford Brewing Company in Lancaster, South Carolina. This is Carolina Blackout Black India Pale Ale. Uh, no information on this beer on the Benford website. Uh, and really the only kind of notable piece of information I was able to pull was from a uh, interview with a TV station in Charlotte uh, where they note the use of uh, Midnight Wheat to secure the, the black color and the black IPA instead of, I guess, uh, the the roasted malts and so forth that you'll see in uh, stouts and porters so that they say uh, it's designed to taste like an IPA but look like a stout. Um, the other, only other thing I can say is that it is 6.5% ABV. So let's uh, try it out. Well, it certainly does look like a stout. Uh-oh. Uh, certainly does look like a stout, though it is much more, uh, well, not, not much more, that's not fair, but uh, quite carbonated. Hmm. I just say, hmm, because a little bit of a froth I had to, or a little bit of head I had to suck up, uh, really seemed a bit, um, really seemed a bit stouty to me. We'll get to that in a second. The beer is, uh, quite dark, uh, near pitch black, of course, uh, good amount of head, as you can see, as I've already mentioned. Uh, maybe just some like cola, dark brown highlights in it as uh, I hold up the light, but otherwise holds that very dark brown to, to nearly black color fairly well. Again, that's uh, about two and a half to three fingers worth of head. Let's see if we can get the rest of this in. Just barely. Um, not going. The head's going away fairly quickly. We're down to uh, two fingers now, just even with the little bit of addition that I made. Big, uh, big fluffy pillowy head to it, I would say. Um, really, this is just me stalling till it gets till that head uh, reduces itself a little bit. But um, let's see if we can get through it and uh, get to the taste. See if what my initial uh, tasting from the the head is uh, confirmed throughout the uh, the rest of the beer. Okay, so not really. Um, so in my initial kind of uh, uh, drinking up some of the foam um, initially just to prevent the overspill, I got a, a lot more... Uh, what I felt were kind of uh, stout or porter-like qualities to it. Uh, maybe in something a little bit roasty. Maybe something a little bit uh, like chocolatey as well. But um, checking out the, the beer proper uh, does definitely fit much more into the more standard IPA category. A good amount of hops, hop bitterness... Maybe some, some tropical fruit notes, but uh, generally the flavor profile is pretty mild. I'm having a little bit of trouble kind of fighting through it. Uh, it is quite bitter despite the, the mild flavors overall. I um, feel like, plenty, again, in addition to that tropical fruit, uh, kind of like a, a dankness or an earthiness to it is kind of the other prevailing... Uh, flavor profile very different from a lot of your uh, a lot of other IPAs. I'm not getting really a lot of much in the way of citrus, not much in the way of like pine. It's a uh, real dank notes. It's it's some earthy notes as well. Uh, 
Um, and then that bitterness uh, really comes through in the second half of the the drinking experience and really kind of pushes through the uh, the aftertaste pretty heavily as well. So, um, certainly not a uh, certainly not a bad IPA though. I I would agree with the uh, the taste like an IPA it looks like a stout comparison, but uh, generally pretty mild flavors to the the IPA and um, and again just a little bit of a different flavor profile than what you're used to. Maybe I'm getting some kind of a uh, some dark beer feelings in the again in the aftertaste, but uh, yeah, largely IPA. Uh, but a decent little beer from uh, from Benford Brewing. Uh, I don't know if it's my favorite from theirs. I've had a couple of their, their their things, and probably not my favorite overall. But a fairly solid IPA. I think the the black IPA style, even in the way they they're doing it, I think that's a very hard needle to uh, to thread with um, getting the dark beer notes with the IPA. They just seem to be very contrasting, and it seems very hard for anybody to be able to to thread that needle well. But um, Solid effort from, from Bedford Brewing. And that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find all those links and usernames in the description below. And if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.